Hi, I'm Gary Germer with Gary Germer & Associates. We are antique fine art appraisers here in Portland and we do estate liquidation. But in my appraisal business, one of the things we do is we help facilitate donations. And what that means is I have a lot of uh, wealthy clientele or people who have inherited things that they would like to pass on to organizations such as yours. And I had a couple of great things come in that was perfect for this event. And I, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about them. It's these two paintings. And they were done originally by the Death Valley 49ers encampment. And what that means is they're a group of people in Death Valley who get together once a year and they have uh, reenactments, they have uh, cooking demonstrations, they have um, art demonstrations and all kinds of historical uh, classes that they do there. And it's a, it's a great time, it's an interesting group. But one, and one of the ways that they support the group is by making a painting every year at the event. And this easel would be set up, or the canvas would be set up on an easel, and different professional artists would be invited to add their little paintbrush stroke to this painting. And so that this painting here was done by 36 different professional artists. And the one that I have here was done a year later. These were done in 77 and 1979. And these paintings weren't done just by one person, but by multiple. This one had 44 different artists who painted, and these weren't just everyday artists. You had to be professional artists and invited to put your little take on this painting as a cooperation. People that were involved were like Bev Doolittle, who we remember does, did all those kind of illusionist Western paintings and Carl Banks. Carl Banks was a Disney artist, and he even put a little flourish on his, have a little Donald Duck on the back. So a lot, a lot of artists, artists distinguished themselves on this by adding their own little doodle on the back of the painting. Uh, I think that they are wonderful and works of art in and of themselves, but I think the fact that they have so many different uh, artists and so much, such a wonderful history to them, that it would be a great thing for anybody to have in their home and supporting such a wonderful cause. So I hope you'll bid high on these and enjoy them for many years to come. Thank you.